What is up guys, Ultraballs here, uh, taking over for Dr. Rich for this one, actually for a couple videos that you're going to be seeing. Uh, my man's got all those games recorded, and uh, you know, what? one person can only do so much. So uh, Doc sent a couple of these videos over to me to re-narrate for him, and we're going to be trying to get up all these games uh, you know, as soon as possible for you guys. So the first one I got, oh by the way also, I do have a YouTube channel of my own, so uh, make sure you check me out if you enjoy this. I better be, Doc better be throwing me in the description below, so, yeah, if you guys enjoy, check me out, uh, do a lot of just, out of competitive sort of stuff, you know, th the same old, same old, I like to think I'm pretty entertaining though, but <laughs> that's besides the point, uh, so the game that I'm re-narrating, or the, ga the game that I'm, uh, narrating here is Sabella vs. Snow, uh, for Snake Draft, and, uh, let's go over the teams quickly, I preview, I really like Sabella's team, uh, it's it's a team that I've seen um, a lot. This sort of like overall composition that it's been pretty popular in tour games. And from what I remember, it's it's been very successful. A lot of times you'd see like instead of Volk, you would see something like a Karam um, over that in that slot. But like in general, this sort of team is you know pretty just solid sort of composition that you see a lot. Uh, but yeah, most of the times on this team you would see something like Z Volk. Uh, you would see like uh, Specs Coco. This is would be my guess is that preview, like def like SD Sis Defog Mew maybe like Scarf or it could be Rocks Mew and Defog Sis but then Scarf Lando uh, like if Mew's Defog it could be Scarf Rocks uh, and then the packs with T Spikes. Uh, Snow's team is pretty interesting like I like it except for the Mian Shao. I don't know exactly what Mian Shao is supposed to do. Um, I'd assume it's a Scarfer but it's a weird choice because normally like normally. Uh, earlier in the gen, you saw Mian Chao a little bit as used as a Scarfer, mostly for its ability to revenge kill Volcarona with, with Edge. But Snow has the Mantine for the Volk, so um, I don't really think you would need to have a Scarf Mian Chao on this team. So I'm not exactly sure what kind of... what I would still assume Scarf. I don't know what other set would be OU viable. Um, so I guess we'll see. Uh, besides that, it's weird. He has well, he has no ground type or like Volt Switch immunity. So if it if it is like some sort of Specs Coco, like even though he has a Tangrowth, it's still gonna be a bitch for Snow to deal with because he could just get Vol he'll just get Volt Switch down over and over. And if uh, Sabella is able to get up a T Spike and Hazards, that's gonna make things really tough for him. Uh, yeah, even because like Tang will eventually get worn down with like. A poison and rocks and stuff like that and still taking a chunk from volt switch every time so uh yeah i, I think a well played coco could be really problematic for snow uh volk though looks to be on check with the uh the mantine so i guess with that we'll just get right into the uh replay so sabella here leads with scissor uh snow leads with mian chow he's gonna switch to stila which is a good play on his part easy play uh sabella goes to to pex i would assume to lay up a t-spike but uh, no, he just scalds. Uh, doesn't get the burn on Lele. Now he's forced into Scizor, which is not a good switch. And that does a good chunk. Um, I'm pretty sure that specs damage from the Lele. Uh, because, I mean, even though the Scizor isn't Mega Evolved, like, uh, it's still a resisted hit doing 40 to a Scizor. And you don't take in the terrain when you, you know, obviously when you're using, when, uh, with the Moonblast damage. So I'm assuming that specs Lele. Uh, he's going to be forced out here by uh, Coco because, yeah. Uh, oh, and he does go tank. So we see that it is U-turn Coco, which makes me think physical, wild charge. But I would assume the Z would be on, like, Volk. So I don't know exactly. It could be, like, a magnet set. Uh, but, yeah, specs would be so good in this game. Oh, Mew. Okay, so it's nasty plot Mew. Uh, that's <laughs> incredibly hard for Snow to deal with. Uh if it's Mew Z, but it's weird, like, it's, I've never seen a Volcarona that's not Z move, so, it, like, in a long time, ever since Charty Berry was a thing, like, early Sun Moon, so, but I, at the, yeah, I've also never seen an offensive Mew without Mew Z, so, uh, something I think could die, if it is Mew Z, I think something's gonna die here, because it's plus two terrain boosted, and, uh, Sabella made the good play of knocking off the Celesteela with the Scizor, um, a couple turns ago, so that's not even gonna be able to switch in, I don't think. Uh, especially if Mew, normally it's like uh, rock, it'll be like rock polish, nasty plot, and then uh, psychic with Mew Z and either Aura Sphere or Fire Blast. Uh, I don't think the Steel is going to be switching into anything at this point. Like, if it, even if he doesn't go for the Z move now, if he just psychics, uh, I'd assume because the Steel has been lost its lefties and took some prior damage, I'm pretty sure like plus two psychic into any coverage move would kill it, or it would get two KO'd by psychic as well. But uh, at the same time, there's there's two turns of terrain left, so guess if he goes, so if you wanted to go Steela, he could try and stall out terrain, but at the same time, it's just gonna die to whatever coverage move 
move Mew has. So I think Snow just has to pick a sack at this point. Um, to be honest, I don't think Mian Chao does anything because there's a Pex and there's a Lando and there's a Lele. So, and you have like, if it is Scarf, right, you'd keep it to revenge the Volcarona, but I don't think you necessarily need that because you have the Mantine there. So, yeah, if I was Snow, I'd probably sack Mian Chao here. Like, it's, like, uh, it's night or it's still nice keeping Steela to check as pos the SD Scizor. Ooh, that did some massive damage. <laughs> that did a shit ton. All right, so, uh, yeah, Mew Psychics, but now Psychic Terrain's off, so I'm not sure this is... Yeah, this probably lives for sure, because it'll do two-thirds of the damage, I believe, right? So it would do, like, 30. So based on the, the first Psychic damage with the Terrain. So this one will do 30. So... The Steeler will still die, though, to either coverage move that this Mew has. Like, even, I'm pretty sure, plus two Aura Sphere would kill this. I'm not positive about that, but it definitely... No, it, should, it, for, it for sure will. It for sure will, if it is that. But most of them are, like, Fire Blast. Uh, especially if you don't have, like, a Doug Trio. Or, uh, Doug Trio, Jesus. <laughs> Thank God we don't have that anymore. I, me I meant a, um, a Magnezone, because Magnezone's able to trap, like, the Steela and the Skarm. Which, or like at least Steelo, which would be able to take Psychic and and uh, in Aura Sphere pretty. Oh, so it is Fire Blast, but he misses. That sucks. That really sucks. But like, it, oh, he is he's three Nessie Pot three attack. See that? Like, I don't get why he just didn't go for that last time. That makes no sense to me. Why? If you're three attack, why would you not just go for Aura Sphere? But it obviously killed, and he's not switching into anything. Like, I don't I don't understand. I I didn't get that play at all. Um. There's no way that Snow is letting Steela take like 70 or like take 50 from Psychic and then just switching out. That would that play. To, I don't. Yeah, I don't agree. I think uh, I think Aura Sphere is free there. But yeah, that's a set I've never seen. Nasty Plot three attack. It's an interesting set. Uh, the fact that this thing had U-turn. Uh, yeah. So this this I'm pretty sure is Scarf. Uh, this Mian Shao. If I had to guess, it's Scarf. So yeah, he goes into Lele, which we know is Specs. Uh, doesn't this? Die to Earthquake. This is Specs, right? I'm almost positive it was Specs based on that damage on Scizor. Um, and I think this this might be Scarf uh, Scarf Lando. At least that would be my guess at preview, that this would be Scarf. Uh, maybe he knows by the U... Yeah, yeah, it is Scarf. Yeah, that's... I don't get what... I don't get that play by Snow at all. It was, it was an obvious Scarf Lando. Nobody uses Scarf Coco. That's an Unmon. So, yeah. Um... So this, because there was a nasty plot three attack Mew, this is definitely Scarf Rocks Landorus, which is fine. Because you, yeah, see, so he's saying here Scarf Rocks, what the fuck? But that's actually a uh, a set that's seen a decent amount of usage. Like normally, like you want U turn and Earthquake, and then you have a few free slots between like Rocks, HP Ice, Stone Edge, Explosion, kind of kind of run what fits. And Rocks isn't a bad option because you you force so many switches anyway with Landorus, so. Uh, yeah, Rox is perfect. Scarf Rox is perfectly fine, in my opinion. So he goes into the Diancie here. Uh, I think Pex is just going to Scald. I don't see why you wouldn't. Yeah. See if he gets the burn, and he does. Uh, yeah, so this is not looking good for Snow. And we see if he gets the burn here. Uh, he does not on the Tangrowth. I think here he could stay in, yeah, because, like, this can't even touch... Uh, okay, so it's not T-Spikes, it's Toxic. That that works perfectly fine here, though. And now, like, um, the, the Mantine, it has to be very weary now of catching a Toxic from the Pex, because if it ever gets Toxic, then it's game over with the Volcarona, I think, just throwing out attacks. Uh, so goes into Mantine here on the Roost. Good play by Snow. We get the Rocks off, so it is Defog. It's Knockoff Defog, so it's not SD, yeah. Okay, this is an interesting set. Normally with Defog, you see U-turn for momentum, but I think Knock here is perfectly a perfectly good choice on Sabella's part, and it worked really well getting rid of the Steel as lefty. So uh, I already knock off the Mian Shao, and we do see it with Scarf. Yep. Like I said, that's really the only Mian Shao that you would ever run. But it, like I said, though, it's still weird that you would have Mantine plus Scarf Mian Shao. Uh, like normally, you'd only run it to deal with or to revenge Volcarona. I don't know the other reason of using it. You know, I'm not sure what it's there for specifically. Um, but yeah, you turn here. I would assume, like, going to... I don't even know what you go into here. Yeah, go to Mantine, but if this thing gets toxic, it's, like, over, isn't it? I don't I don't know. Because now that uh, now that we've lost the Scarf... Uh, I'm assuming the Toxic's coming here, right? Yep. Uh, and, like, the fact that you lost the Scarf on the Chow, now you're just, like, begging to lose to Volcarona that you let this get toxic. But at the same time, he didn't have a play. The whole team's walled by Pex. Dude, Pex is a broken piece of shit. 
Like, he only had one Mon that could, like, beat Pex, which is never the way to go. <laughs> Goes into Coco, doesn't get the burn. Uh, we saw a U-turn. I'm not sure. This could be physical, but I would still assume that this is more... All right, so it's like a Magnet set, which which you don't see very much anymore. The two Cocos that you see mostly are going to be, like, Specs or Physical Z-Move. Uh, so, yeah, you don't see very much of this um, Magnet set anymore. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, I mean, it's still putting a lot of pressure on him because every time Tangrowth comes in and it's poison, it's got to take... You know, it's got to take... Oh, okay, so Volcarona just QD'd. Uh, I'm assuming he thinks he could just beat this 1v1 because it's toxic. So he could just, like, Giga or or, bug, or Psychic or whatever. <laughs> well, I didn't necessarily see that one coming. Uh, it is HP Electric, so I'm pretty sure the game's over now. Uh, I don't My thought was, like, I guess you just keep QD'ing up and, like, muscle through the man time because it was toxic. But no, it was actually HP Electric. So, yeah, it's a cool, like... That's something that you would never use, like, blindly. Like, if you're just playing around on ladder or whatever, I don't think HP Electric's useful, but if you're scouting an opponent and you see that they like to use a lot of something, then HP Electric... Like, you see they use a lot of Mantine to check bulk. I think HP Electric's a perfectly fine option. And Sabella, that was complete fire. So, yeah, this is game over. Like, Fire Blast kills this, and Fire Blast kills the next two. So, I mean, he just got to hit Fire Blast. Even if he doesn't hit them, though, he still wins. Like I said, Pex wins at this point. He can't beat that Mon at all. Um... Especially since this is burned, like, it could earth power the Pex, but then just die to a Scald, so it's not really helping him at all. Um, yeah, Volcarona, though, like, just click Fire Blast three times, game over. Uh, I don't think there's much to say here. Sabella is, like, thinking through his play right now, but, like, I don't think you need to. I think you could just click Fire Blast. Unless he wants to... Okay, so he goes to Pex. I guess he didn't want to miss because he could save this for the for the Tang growth. But Tang's toxic anyway. Like, and this doesn't matter because you don't die. Like, this is what I meant. The Pex doesn't die to any move. It just kills you with Scald. And then it hard walls the other two Mons. So this is definitely game over. Uh, I think Snow has to, like, crit this. Dodge a million moves from Volcarona. And, like, he still is probably going to lose. So... Yeah, it should be game over. Uh, it was like I think it was really good prep by Sabella. The uh, knock defog scissor with for the Steela was was really good. The HP electric uh, Volcarona for the Mantine uh, sealed the game too. So uh, that's a nice win for Sabella there. Nice 6-0, preserving by not risking fire blast. I could respect that. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I think that was actually in his best interest anyway because like you could save the fire blast for Tangrowth. I guess. I mean, there's no reason to risk it. Uh, to be, it, it didn't matter. He could. It didn't matter what he did there. He won regardless. But uh, yeah, uh, so Sabella comes out with the win here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, you know, make sure you check out my channel. Make sure you give Doc these juicy thumbs ups, even if you didn't like me. Thumbs up just for for my man Doc Rich. Uh, yeah. Until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.